coach. No take questions. Yeah, I mean, obviously stings. Uh, stings anytime you're in a close game. You know, you you feel the opposite way when you're on the the winning side, and you feel uh, pretty bad and and tough on the losing side. But good fight. Obviously, a great program, uh, great team, great culture, Wichita. So uh, proud of the guys for the fight, the growth through these two games, and uh, going toe to toe with two established programs. Uh, hopefully, can be a uh, kind of a, a vote of confidence almost, even though we, we don't do the moral victories, but uh, just uh, as anything, kind of give them as a group, you know, an outlook. Uh, so for every day in practice going forward, because uh, these last two certainly had an NCAA tournament environment and feel to it. And I think, uh, you know, going forward, we can we can kind of have that and have this experience to, to just get better. And because uh, there's no uh, choice right now, uh, but to get back after it, get our bodies right tomorrow and get back after it Tuesday and just get better. Uh, Coach, Tyson just said it was a 50-50 call and the ref didn't have to make that call. How frustrating is it to lose a basketball game like that on a call like that? Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd say we lost it because of the call. You know, it, I, I am a firm believer that it's, you know, no one instance at the end of a game makes or breaks anything. I think you got to look at it in the long. But, uh, you know, I mean, Tyson Etienne had a great night. Uh, he, he hit big shots. And then, I mean, stepping into the line down one with, with a make or break situation, that, that's a tough responsibility. And he stepped up and, and made them. And uh, that, that's kind of almost, I think that's even more the make or break of the game than the call. You know, he's still got to step up there and make them. And he did. Kevin, what happened after the game ended at the skirmish at midcourt? I'm not sure. I was talking to coach and uh, uh, turned around and, you know, I mean, it's nothing at, I would, it's not normal, but, you know, the tensions are pretty tight there at the end of games. And uh, our coaching staff, you know, we know those guys at Wichita, the players know each other. So I'm sure uh, whatever it was, it probably wasn't that big of a deal. Coach, talk about the play of the, the kid sitting next to you, Jordan's play tonight, and then losing him with a little bit over two minutes to go in the game, how much did that affect you guys? Yeah, I think that it was, uh, it was obviously a big loss. And uh, I think especially in the first half, when you go back, he did a really good job on Etienne. And uh, he made him work, and he, he made his shots difficult. And, and he did for the majority of the second half, too. And that's just something, you know, we'll, we'll watch the film, and we'll be able to easily pick out probably a foul that was picked up that, you know, he shouldn't have picked it up. Uh, and... But yeah, I mean, and Jordan's doing a good job of getting the ball moving, getting the ball where it needs to be, and and uh, kind of giving a calming hand out there. So again, I, I've said it a hundred times. I think this group is just going to continue to get better, and and I think they've shown that even in the last couple days, and you know, I think we'll continue to show it going forward. Kevin, I think you went the final ten minutes uh, before uh, Gilbert's put back without a field goal. Uh, what do you think happened on that end of the floor? You know, just down the stretch. Yeah, I think they did. They also did a really good job. You know, they they picked up their defensive intensity. They had some shots go in, and and uh, yeah, we do, we got a little stagnant, and and uh, but uh, that was a great play by Keyshawn there at the end. That was a, a great awareness, and but again, that's something that will. You know, go back to the film, see what we got to do better, what we got to tighten up, and and uh, you know, kind of like we talked about after the Michigan game, we went through a little bit of a lull and would, weren't able to get out of it. Uh, went through a little bit of a lull tonight, but uh, they battled back out of it. Jordan, Jordan you're five games into your uh, UNLV career. This is clearly, I think, one of the games that you've been the most offensively asserted. Do you feel like you kind of took it upon yourself tonight to be more of that guy from an offensive standpoint? Uh, no, not not necessarily. I think you go out there with that mindset, and things go wrong. That's what I've I've learned over uh, you know the course of my career so far. I think we just did a really good job of responding to to what the coaches put in front of us coming out of Michigan. Um, really good defensive teams. I think Michigan was Ken Palm, what number two going into that game. Um, they you're not going to beat them on the first one, whether that be a drive. You're going to beat them on the second and third one, and we have to be willing and able, you know, to step up and do that for our teammates. I think we did a great job all around tonight. Um, guys found me in right spots. Uh, I found them in right spots. And, you know, everybody was very, very unselfish. I think that's going to really attribute to just the offensive. Obviously, it wasn't like the first three games. We didn't look the same offensively. I thought we looked a lot better. Um, and we're going to continue to build off of that as they lay it in front of us.
Jordan, you followed out with a, a couple of minutes left. Given how effectively you were playing tonight, um, just how hard was it to not be out there for the final sequences, you know, both offensive and defensively? Uh, it, I mean, it's tough. As a competitor, you want to be out there. Um, I, I was extremely proud to watch Keyshawn go out there and do what he did. Um, you know, like Etienne said, 50-50 down the, down the stretch. But more importantly, you know, what Keyshawn did in there and, and kept his cool through a couple of plays that kind of went, you know, in that 50-50 ballpark. He, uh, you know, he grew up a lot tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of him and everybody else that was out there. I don't think we need one player out there to win. I really don't. Like, I mean, when we go in, if you watch the practice, you probably won't be able to pick out starting five because guys go at each other and, and everybody steps up when it's time. And Keyshawn did that. Coach, what's your thoughts on Keyshawn's performance tonight and what he brings to the team? Well, Keyshawn just, I mean, he's a fighter. He's a competitor. He, uh, he plays with just kind of a, almost just like a, a childlike innocence of, that he just runs around and he just has fun. And, you know, fun for Keyshawn is competing. It's scra getting in little scraps with, you know, for a loose ball. Like, that's what he enjoys doing. So, uh, and, he, and he brings that. He brings an element of that to this team. Uh, I think uh, a lot of times, you know, Keyshawn being the only teenager we have, you know, he, he feels like he's got to fight for the respect of the older guys. I mean, these guys played in the Big 12. They played a lot of college basketball games at other schools. Um, he knows he's got to fight for uh, his seat at the table. And, and he does that. And he does it every day. I mean, he, he is the same exact person in practice that he is in games. So, uh, as Jordan said, he's he's going to continue growing up. Uh, had a couple huge offensive rebounds late. It really kept us in it. And then, of course, the one to put us up one at the end. So, uh, that's just kind of what he does. Basketball player and, and loves to play. Coach, how much did you learn about your team these last two games? Well, I, I'd say we learned a lot. I, I mean... I know it's 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 a cliche, and a, like I said, we we weren't just here to play Michigan and Wichita, as I told the guys. We were here to compete and and beat Michigan and Wichita, and you know we didn't end up doing that, but I think we did learn that you know no, this is a group that's got a chance, and and where we go from here though is what's going to tell it. Not you know being close with Wichita, having a fighting chance in the last three minutes with Michigan. That's you know that that's not an accomplishment. You know taking this though and getting better. And just continuing to improve so that by the March we're a finished product is is really going to be uh, kind of the telling sign of what this weekend did for us growing or just kind of competing.